Well, what's up? Welcome back to AI in Motion. My name is Jason Stapleton, and today I'm gonna to be showing you one of the coolest new features inside of Motion, and it has to do with their new AI employees. So I'm just gonna go click on here in the sidebar. Now, if you don't know anything about Motion's AI employees and how to use them, um, I will leave a link up in the corner of this video that will take you to a complete walkthrough I did uh, here on YouTube of AI agents, employees, and how to use them inside of Motion. Today, I just wanna show you very very quickly, one of them that I've been getting a lot of use out of, and it's this social media listener. So I come over here, Suki, AI managing, uh, excuse me, AI marketing associate, and inside she has a bunch of different tools to help you write blog posts and Instagram and all of that stuff. But then she also has this social media listener. And if I click edit in here, you're going to notice all I have to do is put in a common term that I want to search for on social media and on the web, and Suki's going to go out and do it for me. Now, I put in government shutdown because at the time of this recording, the government here in America is still shut down. Um, but let's pick something else that might be of interest to a lot of you watching. Let's do something like tariffs. Right, a lot of companies have are being affected by the tariffs, and there's questions about what what to do and what's the latest and who's just got hiked and who just got a deal. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just type in that keyword, and the next thing is just decide where I want it to go inside of Motion. Motion's super robust. You can have uh, workspaces, documents inside of those, spreadsheets inside of those, so it really allows you a lot of versatility. I'm just gonna put this one into my private workspace because that's pretty good and I'm gonna click save, okay? Now, if I want to, actually, let's come back in here and let's just go into advanced editing. Now, the way I use this is I run this every morning at 8 a.m. Now, if you wanna change the time or do anything like that, it's it. you don't even need this like super special prompting language. You just tell it in plain English. Like, I don't want it to run at eight, I want it to run at five. That way, when I get into the office in the morning, I know that the whole thing is processed and I should have something in my inbox or waiting for me inside of motion, right? So you can change that really easily. And then it's just gonna go look for out at Reddit. It's gonna search YouTube. It's gonna conduct a web search for the keywords. It's gonna summarize all that stuff, create a document, and then send a notification letting you know that the document's been created. Pretty cool, right? Close without saving. So let's just go ahead and run this, okay? Now, this is going to take a few minutes because it does have to go out and read a bunch of the latest uh, Reddit posts. It has to go watch and, or transcribe a bunch of videos on YouTube. So it's not going to be instantaneous, which is why I say if you're going to run this, run it in the morning, like before you get to work um, or maybe run it a you know, few hours before you know you're going to want to access the data. That way, it just gives it time to run. It's not going to take hours, it's, but it's going to take probably oh maybe five minutes or so. So I'm just going to pause the recording and I'll keep a track of the time so we know how long it takes and I'll be back when we're uh, ready to go. And all right, there we have it. Just came up, so this took about 15 minutes to run through, which once you see, it's pretty impressive it can do it that quickly. So what we're gonna have first is a, is a title. So if we wanna actually go to whatever it is that it's talking about, I can click on, I can click on the link and it'll take me over to the actual video or the link to the Reddit post, whatever it is, it'll take me directly to that. Um, but then it gives you a little summary of what it's about. Um, in, it gives you the insight, like what you, the big takeaway, publish date. Now, pay attention to this because this is, what's, this is also really cool. It's only pulling stuff that's been published today. So recording this on October 6th, um, and then the source is Reddit. So you're not getting stuff that, because anytime you have to do other Google searches or whatever, a lot of times, in, unless you're really specific, like I only want stuff in the last 24 hours, even then Google is going to feed you stuff from two months ago or a year ago because it it's looking for the most relevant information. This is nice because every day you're not going to get repeats of news. You're going to be getting whatever is happening today day. So one of the good use cases for this would be um, just paying attention to what other people are saying about your company in social media channels, right? On Reddit. And if every day you're getting an email about your uh, getting a, I'm sorry, a report like this that outlines what people are saying about your company on social media, it gives you a chance to go and interact with those folks. It gives you a chance to make things right if things were wrong or to be part of the conversation as, your as someone's praising your company and appreciating the hard work you're putting in, right? So I can expand this out. And you'll see we'll go from Reddit, 
And then we'll go from Reddit down here. If we continue on, we'll get into YouTube. A lot of, a lot of YouTube, not a lot of YouTube stuff here today. Okay. Um, now we get into regular news, the BBC, uh, BNN, Bloomberg, CBC, the CBC. Okay. And uh, here we go, article and video CNN. So this just gives you a nice little digest. Now you can, like I said, I like doing this in the morning and so it's already available for me when I get in. Um, but every time you do one of these, it will be available in your inbox. So all you got to do is come in once you hit your um, once you hit your your platform, hit motion, just come over to inbox and it'll have a list of them there for you to go through. It should also put it back in here as well. And yeah, so I get, so um, it's also dropping them into my private workspace. So if you wanted to, you could also create a subfolder um, that you could house all of these in, and then you could come in, read through them, and then if you don't need them, you can delete them, right? But very, very cool feature, and it just works. And that's one of the things that I appreciate most about Motion is that it's just, you just turn on, it works. You don't have to have any technical expertise. You don't have to know how to write AI agents. They already wrote the agents for you. They already work. All you have to do is literally turn them on and say, I want you to do what you were designed to do. So in the link, in the, in the description is a link where you can get a free trial for motion. I think they give you like seven or 14 days for free. So you can go try out the agents for yourself. Highly recommend that you do that. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this uh, for this channel so we can do some more of these because I kind of like it. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon.